Hey everyone, Arithia here, and welcome to the first episode of my development tutorial series. I'm thrilled to have you all on this journey with me where we will be diving into the exciting world of game development. First things first, let me introduce myself. I'm Mary, a passionate game developer with a love for creating immersive fantasy and exciting digital experiences. A bit more about me is that I started Roblox development maybe around 2018 and I was like, I am getting a little old for this. I should really get a bit more serious and I guess settle down on the platform. Um, so I did, I started with 3D modeling, learning how to navigate studio and over the years I kept at it, kept practicing and getting better and better. So I hope I can kind of help some of you guys do that too. I also love coffee. Um, my favorite flavor is plain black, but I will have the occasional hazelnut or mocha. And I'm lactose intolerant, uh, so I can't have milk. I love oat milk. And I have two cats right now, uh, tomato and pepper. In today's video, I want to give you a glimpse into who I am and the tools that I use to bring my game ideas to life. This series will be a little bit quick. I'll try to do no longer than five minutes of video and I'll be teaching you guys all the things that I do in game design. So let's talk about the software that forms the backbone of my game development process. First of all is Roblox Studio. This is where the magic happens. Roblox Studio is my go-to platform for setting up 3D creations and bringing my game designs to life. It's user-friendly, powerful, and perfect for building and scripting games on the Roblox platform. When it comes to asset design, rigging, and animation, Blender is my weapon of choice. It's an open source 3D creation suite that allows me to sculpt, model, and breathe life into my game characters and environments. Finally, we have Paint.net. This is for quick photo edits, sketching ideas, or color planning. Paint.net is my handy companion. It's a lightweight and versatile tool that helps me visualize concepts and fine tune details in a snap. The best thing about the software is that they're all free. So you guys can get started today without paying a penny. Now, you might be wondering about more advanced tools like ZBrush, Substance Designer and Painter. While these are incredibly powerful, I find that they're a bit overkill for the current platform that we're working on, Roblox. As we progress in the series, we'll explore these advanced tools, but for now, we'll stick to the essentials. So that's a bit about me and the software that I use. I'm super excited to guide everybody through the ins and outs of game development from the basics to the more complex assets. I am not a video editor, so as we go through this series, um, you guys might see that not the editing is perfect, so bear with me on that. And if you guys have anything about development, the process itself that you guys might want to know about, let me know in the comments. And before I get too in depth with these series, hopefully I can grab a bunch of things that you guys want to learn about and include those in my videos, which is going to be super helpful for everybody. And, you know, it's been a while since I've been a beginner, so I feel like that'll really help me put myself in your guys' shoes and maybe help you learn about things that I already know about and wouldn't have thought to add in my videos. If you're ready to embark on this journey with me, hit that subscribe button and let's get started on our game development adventure together. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.